Hello friends, we have topic today properties. What is properties in C sharp? Properties is, is a special method called accessor that provide flexible mechanism to read, write and compute data from the private field. So from the private field, we can read and write compute data with the help of properties. So let's create a property. Private field. Get return value set name. So return is equal to name set name. So we have created a property called name which has get accessor and set accessor. Object dot name. See what you are accessing here name a private property name to set the value. Like. And now let's go to right line OBJ dot name. What we are doing here? Here we are setting the value, here we are getting the value. Let's run our code. So we have Barik. We have set the name Barik. And also get the name Mari. Right. Uh, next question What actually happened when we go for the interview? When we answer any uh, question, the interviewer does that pick the next question from the answer. So, here, what is saying property is a special method called accessor. A special method is a special method. So, the another question. Uh, may arise that why are you saying this is a method while we know this is a property of course so the answer be yes Microsoft introduces it as a property but internally treat it as a method if you check idealism there it is declared as a method right I show you so we have this property created get and set property then deeper See here, get name or set name. What is this? It's a method. We have created a property called name with name, and we it has get and set accessor. It is called accessor that given they given the name accessor. Okay, and what internally it is a method. Okay, so it is clear get and set we create a property but it is a method what is get and set property it is called get and set accessor when you read a value get accessor is called when you write a value set accessor is called right here what we are doing we are setting the value then this accessor will be called get accessor will not be executed uh, when we read here we are reading the value so in that case get accessor will call not the set accessor will call right Next, can you make property as private? Yes, you can make property, but it will not be accessible in any other class. Obviously, 
uh, you make a, your property private it will not be accessible in any other, uh, any other class uh, let's check it out class new program new program 2 okay we had it copy static from here to here okay name the program see it is happening turn error to error could not of copy console okay it's because what why because here the file is open but I have done I have opened the DLL into the ILDSM file then and then try to debug this in that case uh, it will not able to recreate the DLL that's why it was giving the error so what we have to check here can we make our property here run this Here, barik is accessible. If we make this one as a private and here, see, represent text sequence program dot name is inaccessible due to its protection level. Right? We cannot access private member out of outside of the class. We can make our property as private, public, internal, protected internal. Hmm. let's move to the next question what is can we override property override yes we can override property but only the virtual property can be overridden right. let's create a property then we override it see public only if you want your property to be overridden you need to make it virtual first uh, let's name it tutorial okay only return a value says C sharp tutorial Oh, yeah. let's access this one tutorial we are inheriting that's why it must be accessible for us this is csr tutorial accessible what we have to check here we have to override this okay let's copy and paste and make it override hmm. here we are talking about property here we are talking about property overriding right what we do in over whenever we override we generally change the definition of the function that's why we need to override the function otherwise this will be fine hmm. So this is done. Let's run this. What we have now? Again, this is C sharp tutorial. Here we are getting this value because we are instantiating program and accessing this one. We are instantiating program accessing this one tutorial, not the overridden one. To get the overridden value, what we have to do, we need to instantiate program two, right? As object two, object two dot tutorial. Here we are talking about the property overriding, right? So we have checked how we can override our property. 
Now again question, can we stop our property to get overridden further by any other class? Yes, we can. And how we can to do so, what we have to do when we override the virtual property in a child class, make it sealed, right? See, if we have another class, program 3, program 3 is inheriting program 2, hmm? right? And then override here what we can say we are overriding the child class we are overriding in child class see build this build succeeded okay what we have to do we have to stop this to be overridden further further whoever is inheriting this one program 2 so public seed okay now see red marker cannot override inherited member because it is sealed cannot override inherited member because it is sealed so we get that answer that how we can stop any overridden property to be overridden further by making it sealed okay can we make property static this is also interesting question has been asked when multiple time we can make our property static yes of course we can make our property static uh, so how just uh, create a static static variable string underscore I am I am static and then create a first copy and paste public static so let's delete it we don't need it now here we are saying about the static okay in the program 2 we have a static program 2 dot name sorry name is already been given i am a static prop hmm. program 2 dot i am a static prop we are writing set accessor will be called right this is static property here dearie <laughs> and get and so dot right line and get program to and complete let me copy program to the best and this this is a static property here right we can make our property static this is the summary what we have learned till now property is a special method which has get and set accessor get accessor is called when you read value and set access is called when you write value we can make property a private we can override property if that is a virtual and also we can seal it to be accessible by any the other class right thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in next video thank you very much for watching